Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are starting up a new campaign here in Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD mod in Total War Attila. So, and this time we are going with the Commune of Milan. You should have known the first time I searched for Milan, I was looking for all the green colors here. Just thinking that, of course, Milan is green. It's um, the medieval two classic colors, but uh, little did I know. Regardless, we are also do have the custom cities uh, beta mod included. So hopefully we will see some really, really cool city layouts. It's uh, supposed to be working. I uh, did a quick test and it seems stable. So I'm including this one for the campaign here. So the Commune of Milan, we are going with Legendary Difficulty as always. No bell time limit, victory objectives, yeah. We of course, we are going to enable the This Is Toll War Challenge. See if we can do better this time than the previous two. And for Milan, we have Dux Lombardorum. Our fated day has come, O oh, people of Milan, and victory is necessary. Milanese arms manufacturing minus 10% upkeep cost for noble units, that seems good. Peace of Constance minus 25% construction cost for civic and industrial buildings and plus 10% wealth for from industry. Charisma Torture plus 2 to spy recruit experience and plus 10% success chance for spy actions, okay cool. We do have the Delatore Rivals, so minus one to loyalty. Our faction leader is Umberto. We have a population of 150,000, so that's a significant change from the Teutonic Order, which is the previous faction we played. Religion, Catholic, Christianity, of course. All right, let's get started. Once again, shout out to the mod team members. You've done you're doing an amazing job with this mod in my favorite game, Toll War Attila. Absolutely awesome. I really do look forward to the future of this mod. So, and if you happen to be new here, I bid you welcome. Hope you will enjoy this series and the rest of the content on the channel. Please do consider subscribing. You should know that all revenue until the 10th of November here this year will go towards my charity work for Suicide Zero, this is still work for Suicide Zero. And beyond that, a substantial amount will still go towards this charity organization. So if you like Toll War and the good cause, I would advise you to subscribe to the channel right now. And to all of you, if you happen to enjoy this video, don't forget to leave that like, that's always greatly appreciated. So, the decisions. We have to form the Kingdom of Italy, and this is kind of, um, this is actually the goal of this campaign. It seems like a reasonable goal, so, but it's not going to be easy. We will definitely see if we, were, if we are even able to survive this time. Playing the Distal War Challenge in this mod has been proven a very difficult thing with warming numbers of factions we can have a look at the faction list here if you don't know about this challenge it's all about declaring war the first turn you encounter faction and never negotiate a peace treaty so no diplomacy here all right so but we are starting with a very good city i think increase slots i guess we want to do that seems to be working fine and yeah, we, we can't build much. We can have a look at the technology tree and I'm have so far in my campaigns in this mod going for the city charters to boost the growth for the burger growth and uh, yeah, growth too. And then we can build a few more inns, markets, metropolis and stuff like that. It seems like a reasonable first step to promote some growth here as always and yeah i think there's a sub mod that decreases the time for research but i want to i don't want to 
toy around too much with the mod. I want to try to play, play it as they intended. And I guess this is a part of the plan. And I think I kind of get this... Uh, um, what do you say, what could you say like the spiritual sense in I mean this long 10 turns 20 turns to get get a uh, technology upgrade because it's medieval times progress was rather slow I guess so I guess it still fits the theme it's intended to play over the course of many many turns but very well. So what do we want to build? I think we are going to go for probably the fairground. It does increase squalor and decrease public order and the state religion. But I don't think state religion... Yeah, we have 14 influence regarding that one. Catholic heresies. Not that strong. So I guess it's not a big problem to just get the minus one here. And we, it does promote a bit of burger growth and foreigner growth, which I don't quite understand how that impacts. Um, but I'm guessing it some has to do with some kind uh, with the economy some somehow. But it's the building that single-handedly provides most wealth out of the ones we can choose from here and a bit more road development uh, economy we are at minus 135 at the moment so that's very much of a priority for us so let's start building that we can look at the family tree as well umberto see what kind of traits we have authority second wind that's not too bad and rioto Unit experience for melee unit recruits. So definitely a general. It should be a general. And Jacopo is a politician. So more influence. Pagano. Okay, here is a landowner. So he's definitely fit for a governor. So Pagano we are going to get to Provost. And Jacopo... Uh, yeah, you are a politician as well. So let's get you to a provost as well. And funny thing, the, our youngest son, Otone, is the heir. But he's only five. Still going to take some time before he comes of age. Gaspare. Andriotto, 17 years of age. Umberto is 42. I think it should be the oldest one that's declared heir. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we can wait with these candidates. We are not going to re recruit a new one as it stands of just now. But we do want then... Pagano, you just want to look again. Yes, you were. Let's get him to the office. What kind of edict? Yep. This one, construct rural way houses, plus 20% from agricultural and, and agricultural and animal husbandry buildings. Jesus, come on. And plus 20% from commerce and 3 to growth. And yeah, growth. We want growth. We also actually, I'm going to want a one of these ones as well. All right, Constantino Savoy, this priest here. That's nice, plus two to public order. So let's recruit him and it should add up to four, right? Yeah. Oh my God, this soundtrack, it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's a, your joy just to be here on the campaign map. So how about our first target then? How about our first target? So we have a number to pick from. Venice is a very rich city. Verona is not too bad. Bologna 
is a potential rich city as well. Pisa, not so much. Genoa is um, a tempting target. Turin, not so much. Strength-wise, they have a 13 units strong army. 16 units. Uh, accompanied with the garrison, so that's quite strong. Quite strong. And what's that? About as much. Four, four. No, little less here, so about the same. About the same. If you have mercenaries here, probably want to pick something up, I guess. How many do we have? Manpower costs 70, and we have 1,250 noble manpower in Milan, so that's a good start. Three turns to recruit them. I don't really want to wait three turns until we acquire our first city. This is something we, I want to do as quickly as possible. But the death company, we need to watch, uh, have a look at those units once we get on the battle map later on. Oh, well, yeah. Company of the Carocchio or Carocchio? I don't know. Carocchio, maybe? Very cool thing. Common thing in the northern Italy states. We have one in our, in our army. I know it provides a boost uh, to not public order, but um, morale on the battlefield. Uh, but we'll see how useful it is. So, Venice. Ready for battle. So, initially, it could be a point. Because Milan, even though we are playing with the custom city maps, I reckon, because in the base game, Mediolanum, as, as I know it, mostly for, um, it's a very strong city. We should have, we do have, a good garrison. So kind of usually it's like good fucking luck trying to take it with the enemy That's your but I reckon Verona first then Venice and try to establish a foothold there and before we start to expand southward but Verona and Venice accompanied by Milan could be a Proved to be a very good foundation economy wise and strategy wise Ready for orders. so we could go ahead and tag directly I have pick up some mercenaries oh yeah definitely so what do we want to pick up we definitely want to pick up these light shock cavalry the other ones we have are heavy right Let's get one more there. We want even more five body studies. Should be enough, I think. What do we have here? We have medium pole arm infantry, two of them. The Swiss Reichslaufer and the Ronkinier Conieri di Ventura. Stats are identical, but there's a few things that differ here. Fight, hide force, impetuous, immune, immune to fear. Oh, that's good. Those I definitely want. And why not grab the other polearm infantry as well? Good armor, piercing damage, so why not? Because these ones, base units have... Yeah, they have a bit of armor, so let's pick them up. Up to full stack. This is looking horrible. We need to jack up taxes. Definitely. 99, I could go with that. I do not want to go all the way up here. Minus 25%. What does it look now? Could do it for... Growth minus one. Okay, short term. Let's jack it up very high. Just, just now. 
first one or two turns. My wits and words are yours. My wits and words are yours. Oh yeah. Uh, what is this? The Holy Roman Empire. Yeah. I don't know if this is even in a working state, but hey, that's cool. We can cast a vote, Federico, Kingdom of Sicily. Can we kind of? We can't switch around. We can't cast our vote on our own, I guess. Back candidate. What is that? Decrees. Vote in favor for this reform. What is this? Uh, the emperor, if only elected by a group of electors, effect. Oh, why? All right. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't. I. I. Did, I think I've heard something about. It's in a broken state, but it's not quite fixed. But I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, but actually, the Holy Roman Empire is definitely a faction I'm work, waiting on to play. But I'm going to wait with that one until um, at least the next big update, which I guess should be quite, quite soon. Quite soon. 13 units a 16, 20, 25 in total. Ready for orders. Oh yeah, we're going to swing it for, we swing for it. Settlement. And try our luck, Seize try our settlement. luck. The odds does not look too bad, but I expect, let's do it like that, then I expect us being attacked by them instead, or the sally out. Continue siege and uh, move on. And yes, as I thought, so let's dive on in. I gotta say it does look really, really cool. So cool. And there we have his bodyguards. And just behind them... The Death Company. Yeah, they they look so cool. So so cool. Let's have a quick look on these guys as well. Yeah, I love it. Just want to have a look at the pole arms. One, two. Yep. Ready to meet them head on completely synced in a way of a manner okay stop just being silly so we have pushed ourselves towards the flank here a bit more because I want to try to take a bit of an advantage of this uh, slight high ground here so hopefully we can do that hopefully so let's uh Mark everyone. The enemy cannot be allowed within they are here. Start marching towards the there. The, enemy the garrison is coming in behind. I mean, usually in my earlier contact with this mod, the main army has proceeded to attack while the garrison kind of join in um, late and that's good that's good for us that's a different thing from the base game where they always team up before they have a go at you oh yeah nine we're all in courage so question is question is if this one's worth it because I don't know the maneuverability 
if you want to move quickly in on an army, it's going to take forever for him to uh, to join in. All right, can we? I even want us even further to here. And you will arrive when you are arriving. They don't come in as fast either, so... Possibly. they form up long lines of the Ballisteris mercenary foot Berovieri Spadaccini Comunale we have medium melee infantry that's their me melee medium infantry stat wise it does seem to be very similar um, as it should I guess to just even further. As you come on. This is not a massive high ground, but these things do have an impact. Uh, let's fast forward a bit. Let's get it done. Yeah, it's going to take them some time. Hopefully, we can beat this before they arrive. If they arrive in the middle of the fight, we could potentially be in trouble here. Um, hard first fight. Definitely. Hard first fight. Are we ready? You should get the shield wall for sure. Is, oh, they're actually here. I'll move you backwards a bit. You have the spears in front? No, you don't actually. You definitely want to do that. Do I have one cavalry unit? You can adjust as well. Spears. Oh no. Okay, take him on. Oh, uh, didn't get him into formation, right? Oh, yep. Send you over. Go, go. Head on. Okay, okay, okay. You're not firing. Good stuff. Right. 
No. Start firing in on him. Firstly, you get into formation. Uh, pull army infantry, that's fine. Now head around. Good stuff. Fire on him. Force them to go back. Stuff. Let him go. Let him go. Send you guys back, I guess. Ah, shit. Get him. Which one was hurt? Not our best units. Okay, shoot on it. Shoot him. Oh shit, that was friendly fire, right? Okay, go. Give me general's dead. Perfect. Good. Go, go fast. Good. They are done for. We are going to get the garrison entering as well. Go fast. Shoot them. One, one more shot. Shaking, wavering. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. You guys, pole arm. Going. Uh, cavalry is holding up good. Wavering good. Death Company, you go here. All of you go here. Let's try to chase those guys down. And that's the rest of them. And then we can reshape. Uh, before we face off with the garrison, uh, you stop firing. Do not, don't want you to friendly fire. Oh Jesus! How's the infantry looking? Only actually, these guys looks bad, and yeah, the mercenaries not looking too good either. Good attack against Cavalry, yeah. I don't, don't know, how hard to say if they got melted um, by the archers. Can't squeeze through. Let's form the line again. You're 
here, you're here. Let's try to get you into formation at least. Of course, I want to chase as many of them down as possible. Oh, you're tired. Very tired. I'm very tired. How many... Ah, uh, yeah, the Ballisteris <clears throat> is the largest threat here, I guess. They don't seem to be affected. Which ones? Good. 14. Reduce the fatigue, goddammit. Oh well. Now we have one body stay on this side. Contadini. to keep it up shatter three three need you back soon need you back General, get those guys. Come on, give him a bully. Prevent him from firing. Uh, short turn. Get into formation. God damn it. Same as we, with you. Give them a volley as well. Good, continue towards the Ballastari. Need to do a good job. Need to go do a good job. Death Company, 48 men. Replenishment isn't the most awesome one, I guess. Very tired, very tired. Time is of the essence. Need to prevent them from firing. Get to flank with you. Come on, move on. Ah, oh, we need to crash it. Crash in. escaping getting those guys don't get thrown in Towards the side now we get around the flank, that's actually good. And go shoot at him.
shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh, good. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we just definitely have the local superiority. Oh shit, it's moving slow. Can we boost it on yourself? Still very tired. Oh yeah. Well, that's it, right? Good. Smashing stuff. Victory. First blood. Right, let's try to chase these guys down so we don't have to fight um, all these guys again. And I'll see you on the campaign map. A heroic victory. Could we even get to get off to a better start, I guess? Only these few remains and these ones. So yeah, the army, the commune of Verona is definitely beaten. Now the question is, will we get attacked by Venice or something else as well? Unit replenishment 10%. Yes, please. Commander. No, actually not. That's honestly a bit of a surprise. To battle. We have rank you up, so I'm... Um, Authority or cunning. I kind of forgot about um, which road to go here again. Government province. Recruitment cost. Campaign movement range. That's what we want to work um, towards, of course. And authority is nice. Upkeep cost. Reduce that is also nice. But let's reduce that. By a bit, actually. Oh, no. Not that much. So let's head that route first and then we can switch over and work our way i don't think usually yes camping movement range it's good but uh, that's all, always something i strive for but economy is um, a higher priority even though it didn't provide all that much uh well None let's do it like this And yeah, just for the sake of seeing the cities, I want to load into the map. So let's do that. All right, this is glorious. Absolutely glorious. The church. We have a bit of a keep here. It looks so goddamn awesome. Looks really, really awesome. Keeping the base layout of the map, of course, uh, maybe. Um, guess. I don't know. No, these are different. These are different. But switching out the models, they these might. These be the same, maybe. But these walls. We're definitely new. Ah, oh, it's so cool. So cool. As far as I understand, it's on the Western Roman part of the map that's being changed. So the Western Roman settlements, I guess. And the rest will come later. But I've seen some pictures as well on... Um, which I think. And I mean, yeah, it looks really, really, really cool. Really, really, really promising. Uh, hope they will be able to finish this mod as much as it can be finished. But huge amount of respect for the time this kind of work is going to take. 
The enemy has been sighted. So let's try to do it actually quite efficiently here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, and limit the casualties as much as possible. Once again. Really awesome. Luckily, no towers on this side, so we could... Are you being fired at? No, thankfully not. Thankfully not. Let's move you forward. See if we could get some shots in on him. Definitely going to destroy the gates. Destroy them in the meantime. A lot of arrows wasted. A lot of arrows wasted. Nope. Now focus fire on them. On the general, general's bodyguard. They, they, they are the same emblem, or how do you say it? Slightly unsure about the word. There we go. Done. Trying to make way a bit. Shooting from another another angle. For again, yeah, there we have the arch. There we have the arch. Good stuff. Enemy general's dead. Let's go for it. Enter the city. Do not fire at all, please. Get in. General, should you have your piece of the cake? Your bite? I don't know if, if there's there's a true English expression for it.
Umberto taking charge. Umberto taking charge. And that should be it, right? Or are we... Do they even have more inside? Move up towards... Well, I just want to see how far is their reach. Okay, move up here. Oh, yeah. move you up we need spears as well let's grab our two strongest ones two ones okay kind of taking maybe taking my time here that's for sure Get them over here. Let's get them over here. Go, 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 my friends. Go, 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 my friends. Get into position. Can start shooting. Actually go all the way towards to here. Keep it on the fast food. Keep it on the fast food. Not, not the best of angles, but should be down to half. Spears should have no problem. Actually dodging it a bit there we go all right fight let's end it decisive that's it that's it only four men lost i guess that's acceptable a good amount of money for sacking it two percent replenishment on common sensibility minus five loot and occupy no we're only going to occupy it at your command and see what we get well all right we have a large city, obviously, we want to repair. We could just wait a bit with it. Yeah, we have enough, a good amount of food supply here. Peasantry growth, olive oil. Carnival grounds, or carnival grounds. Albuquerque and plus one to the state religion, bid income from culture, town barracks. Town barracks. Power damage plus 5% and attack rate plus 5%. Uh, it does. Okay. Do have that 100 in maintenance. Do not know about that. If I want to switch it over to you, we could switch to a mustering ground. I can have a think about that. Definitely want to keep. Uh, Keep the large city, that's for sure. That's for sure. Alright, I reckon that to be the end of the first episode here. So Milan, Verona. In the next episode, we will see what's going to happen. I expect a lot of attacks and, uh, and uh, a lot tougher orders. times. But a good first victory. Good first victory. Hopefully we can set our eyes on Venice in the near future. Alright, hope you enjoyed the episode guys, leave that like if it did. Until the next one, have a good one.